Okay, what's up guys, Lotus. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys something a bit new, something that I haven't really done. I haven't really done many tutorials. Actually, I haven't done any. But, um, oh, okay, uh, we're back. Um, I've got a lot of people asking me how to make logos, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make a logo, like something that might look like this. So just something that looks pretty cool. Uh, so. Alright, so you're going to want to start out by make going File, New, and then set it to 150mm by 150mm. As long as it's a square, it doesn't really matter too much. So, you're going to want to pull up pull out your logo, just get Gamma, okay? And then you want to get your picture. Um, I'll go... Hmm, what should we go for? Go for this one. Okay, you want to get your image the right size you want. Actually, that shield's not the best for the logo, so you want to try and get a picture that's that will go good with the logo. Um, if you want, I'll put these pictures in. The, I'll put the person's link, the channel link where I got this from. We'll just go out. Fuck it. Okay, so if you've got anything that you don't want it, just use the selection tool and delete it. Oh yeah, right, so you've got to rasterize, uh, rasterize the layer before you start anything. So it lets you edit it. Right, then basically what you're going to want to do, this is actually a lot simpler than you think guys. Uh, you're going to want to get the magic wand tool up here, which you basically can tro crop anything out on. And you want to click on your logo, okay? And then you want to click back on this, your picture, and then I always open up a new one, usually, it doesn't matter what size it is. Uh, and then you just grab it and you pull it out of there, just leave it somewhere. Control D to get rid of those dotted lines and then I usually just delete that. There are other ways of doing it but I just like to do this, drag this back over, put it in the right place. So that's like the base of it. Um, now what you want to do, if you that's like the easy bit, but if you want to get it so there's something sticking out, you want to get the picture back up, resize it, or you can just duplicate the layer before you uh, get rid of it. Um, so if you've got something you want to keep on it, use the pen tool here, and you want to go around the bit you want to stick out. If you've got an image that's got a background, like just a white background, you're going to have to go around it really carefully like that with the pen tool. But mine's a PNG, so the background doesn't matter. So you're going to have to go around that with the pen tool and then right click and go make selection. Okay. And then you drag it out like you did for the last one. You have to rest, re rasterize the layer again, guys, remember? Control D, delete that. And you're going to want to bring the bit over that you back want back. Place it where it's meant to go. Right, it's about there. You can move it under. Doesn't really matter too much. So there we go. We've got that out. Add in, <coughs> add in the font. I like the font Typography Pro. It's a really good font. I'll just go. Gamma Lotus. It's my graphics team. You should check them out. I'll put the link in the description. Um, then what I usually do with this font, because it's quite thin, I go blending options at the top there. And let me just talk about each of these. So drop shadow, that's not really good for this font. Uh, these stuff just add kind of textures and stuff, but you can't really see them on this logo because it's quite th no uh, font because it's quite thin. Same with all of it really. Color overlay just changes the color over everything. Um, <coughs> but I'm looking for is stroke. And what that does it thickens it up. Okay, so you want to click on stroke, and I usually put this to one. So as you can see, it just makes it it makes it thicker. Like you see the difference there. Um, then what you're going to want to do, if you just like simple like really simple stuff. You could just leave it like that, but <coughs> I don't want to, so I'm going to take out this Saul Wizzes 7K pack, pack which I highly recommend. So you're going to go on Google, Get uh, you can get a background image off Google, just literally type in, uh, just type in stock. If you type in stock, you'll get, oh no, background stock, sorry. 
So you want to type in background stock. And what this does is it pulls out a load of good backgrounds or because I've got them in GFX packs. You get nice ones like these. Uh, go to wallpapers and I do actually like this. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it over. And I'm going to put it, grab it and drag it down there. I'm going to resize it a bit so I'm going to click Control T to shortcut and then whenever you resize an image guys always hold down shift and then drag from the corner so it keeps it in proportion because sometimes when you when you just drag around like that it resizes the image and it looks horrible um, <coughs> to undo press control Z Z or whatever you want to say it um, this isn't like a complex tutorial guys this is just for the people who really need to know the basics alright so I've done that just adds like nice and I guess I'm going to fade away the edges real quick so I'm going to put the flow down to like 4% so just so you get rid of those lines don't even know if you guys will be able to see that but from where I am I can so fade it out a bit it just adds a nice little background thing there I'm going to grab something else no oh, fuck it I'll grab that it's a bit, a bit random we can usually mix stuff like this You can just mess around guys, just add whatever the fuck you want. Uh, sometimes if what people want backgrounds, what they will normally do. Oh, rasterize. I still forget to rasterize stuff today. Okay. So, what you want to do if you want to get like a nice background or something, like behind all this. Um, fill it with like a white or something like that. And then right click on it, blending options, uh, gradient overlay, uh, and then you want to start from the bottom probably, bring it down a fair bit, okay, and now what you can see guys, this bit here, it like comes out of the, the logo, so you're going to want to go over to it, make sure it's above the, the logo, so there's the logo, and this is stuff in the logo, you can right click, and go create clipping mask. Now what that does is it keeps it puts any image inside of another image. So right click again, create clipping mask. As you can see the lines have gone again. So there we go guys, that's just a fast nice little logo there. And then when you save it, file, save as, scroll down, JPEG. You guys know what you want to save it, I'll just go prototype, prototype. Just save it to my desktop. Right, so there you go. That's that's it, guys. That is as easy as that. So hopefully I've answered some of your guys' kind of questions. I'm just going to pull out some of my other logos just while I'm talking. So hopefully this answered some of your guys' questions and helped you guys learn the basics. That one's pretty weird. Um, so yeah, you can do this with any logo. Just add a nice background in use the pen tool, you need to use the pen tool well if there's a background on the image but if you if you type in w, uh, on google renders you find pictures that don't have backgrounds so they're really easy to do uh, and you can do it with with anything really any picture you want and it's that easy guys banners are a bit harder but whatever you guys want me to upload just tell me and I'll upload it uh, so I, like, I really like to hear what the subscribers think so Thanks a lot guys, please make sure you leave a like and a comment, and maybe a sub if you're new. Thanks a lot for watching guys, peace out.